monster children. Monster children of the world. You, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, you're joined today by me, Mac DeMarco, over here to my left, Mr. Kerwin Frost, and the man of the hour, Mr. Tex Crick. Tex. Tex Crick. Hey. Uh, we're here in my studio in Los Angeles, California. And Tex, you're out in uh, Tokyo. And today we're chatting with Tex because you just had a record out on Shaboom. Max record label, the label that I that is mine. And the record is called Live in New York, New York City. City. Right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right here. Boom shakalaka. That's really nice. It's a really nice record, Tex. Look at that. Thank you. Thanks, Cohen. When, oh, pull when, that thing out again with the reflection of us on the... I like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we are. Right in the vinyl. Look at that. Look at those grooves. It's in the groove. <laughs> Groove. You know what they say, groove is in the heart. Um, groove is in the heart. Um, Tex, you're not, you're not originally from Japan. Why don't you fill in the audience as to how you wound up in Tokyo? Yeah, I'm Australian. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, yes. I didn't, I didn't know that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think you were from uh, the gong? I didn't honestly, honestly, Tex talking to you. I didn't, I didn't even pick up the accent. It was crazy. What do you think he sounds American? I thought he was just smooth. I was just like, oh, that's just how Tex talks. Okay, well it is. Yeah. I'm a well-traveled yeah. man. I've, I've got a. He's well-seasoned. Bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you spend any time in New York? You made the record in New York City. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so okay, it, but it feels it, like New York. So that's not off. I'm not off with that comment. No. Yeah, it feels. Yeah, like no, New I was York. I was in New York. Okay. All right. I was in New York when I made the record. Yeah, yeah. And Mac and I met in New York. Did we? Yes, we did. It was no, 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 no. No, we didn't. Really? No, we met in Los Angeles. Um, on top of like Jimmy Hayes' car, I think it was a Cadillac or something. And I, it was the first time I met you and Kieran, and I was so drunk that I was like throwing up mid conversation. Oh yeah, you know I remember this. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then we chilled in New York because you guys were hanging there. With the Finns and everybody, and then you did that show with Conan at uh, Music Hall at Williamsburg. That probably would have been like 2015 or 2014 or something. That's right. 2013 yeah, yeah. 15, maybe. It was a long oh, wow. time ago. How does it feel to be the first artist on Max Record label? Nice. I'm on it. Yeah. 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 Me too, Tex. I'll tell you. You know, it's like I, this whole record label business. I was, you know, I'm excited. But I didn't, I, the excitement really peaked when the record came and the sleeve looked nice, had the nice sticker, and it sounds good. And I was like, wow, we did it. We yeah. did it, Tex. We did it. Yeah, kind of. It's, it really uh, ties it all together. Yeah, it's a nice little bow on top of it, you know, just nice. You ordered Chinese food, Kerwin? Okay. Oh, yeah, th Tex, uh, looking at the cover, I mean, so many beautiful fall colors. You got leaves, you got the beautiful fucking timeless silhouette of new york city right there in the back you got you walking past a pond so tell me about it the genesis of this yeah. photo this uh this picture it was shot by a private detective and i don't i still don't know who it was that took this picture right i thought you hired him yeah but they gave me a fake name oh, so oh okay yeah. you didn't know who they were yeah but um so i emailed a private detective from my girlfriend's email right. and uh said i have a cheating husband <laughs> and i need you to follow him around all day and just take pictures <laughs> and make sure you send me high resolution photos you know? <laughs> and so basically i just i walked around all day and uh, <laughs> oh that one's really good holy shit Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> so this is me. So, I, I told him, uh, pretending to be the wife, right. was saying, um, you know, he goes and has coffee every morning at this diner. So, maybe you'll see him at the diner first, and then you can follow him from there. Yeah. Anyway. So cool. Classy. Oh, wait. There's more to the story, actually. Yeah. Um, Wow. <laughs> little, little, oh my god. 
This one was like shot through a car window or that's something. That's so cool. Yeah, that's nice. What's in the bag? Yeah, is that some Thai food? It kind of looks like a Thai food. Yeah. yeah. The, um, it was a, there was a frog inside. <laughs> oh, I what? see. Okay. Is that a real frog? Yeah, this huge, this huge frog from a, uh, in Chinatown, you can get like live fish and lobsters and crabs and stuff. And there was these frogs. And I kind of wanted to, I wanted to lead on this private investigator. Yeah. You know, so we start following me in his own time and stuff. But yeah. he, he never really, he took lots of pictures of me with his bag, but he never actually got a photo of me. He didn't, he wasn't I was curious. releasing the frogs into the lake at Central Park. Right, he didn't care about the bag as much as you thought he would. <laughs> no. Oh, that's that's right pre-release though, isn't it? That looks like. Yeah, going down to the water. The yeah, and there you are. Yeah, well, I released these frogs into the, into the, into the lake in Central Park. But it's all about the music, really. Listen exact to the record. Zach Demonde, buy the goddamn yeah. record. Monster Children, all you monster children out there watching this interview, if you haven't bought this record yet, if you're not out there you're listening to this record already, you're being very naughty. And you, you're misbehaving. And it's time for you to get out there and buy Live in New York City by Tex Crick. Why? Because it's going to change your life. Yeah. It's going to change the way that you engage with music. It's going to change your entire outlook on music as an, as an artistic platform. Yeah, it's going to change the way that you live your life in general, in 2021 and any year into the future from this point on. This record is going to rock the foundations of your soul. Uh, what else? I was, I was that right there. No, Show. but it is. This is a great record. I'm very happy that you uh, allowed me to help you out with the text. I'm very happy that it's, uh, I'm, uh, that it's out. And that I hope that you're happy that it's out too. I'm quite proud of it, and I'm quite proud of you. And yeah. God bless you. Well, thank you. Yeah.